Good morning, YouTube. It has been two weeks since I filmed a vlog, and now we're in New spider. Zealand. There's a spider. Maybe that's the smallest spider. You guys see that? I don't think it's a spider. Oh, it is. It's it's holding a piece of fluff. <laughs> or it's a... I don't know if that's a spider. We're in New Zealand. Been here for a... How long have we been here? A couple of days. She's occupied with the spider. Um, <laughs> Look at it. <laughs> oh, it jumped on me! It just jumped on me! It literally jumped straight on me. I don't know where it went. It literally jumped on you. Yeah, it jumped all the way across the car. I've never seen anything like that. Freaking superpowers. So, I got really sick. Um, and then, when I was getting better and I started sort of vlogging again, I got really sick again. So... I just honestly, and I, I actually filmed, I filmed two vlogs, both of them were, we were going to upload, and you guys can tell me what you think, but I'm more under the impression that if it's not a, if it's not like amazing content, if it's not really, really good content, I'm not going to upload it, because if we're not doing anything interesting, I didn't want to vlog, I got absolutely fried already, I don't know if you can, my face is probably getting, I don't know, but it's the sun here oh it's so so brutal my feet i forgot to put sunscreen on my feet and my feet are so burnt and it really hurts <laughs> like yeah. the uv here or we have a hole i think we have a hole in our ozone layer so i think that's the reason the sun is basically just extremely harsh i got a proper farmer's tan which hannah absolutely hates it's terrible it's his life jacket. Too. Yeah, it's my, from my life jacket. <laughs> if you haven't been to New Zealand and you come here for the first time in summertime, bring sunscreen. Just freaking bring sunscreen and be like seriously prepared for the sun. So for now, I'm going to get breakfast at our favorite little breakfast spot, and then um, from last year, and then I'm going to go meet up with one of my friends um, who you'll meet as well. What I can say is we initially bought this car to kind of use for fun in New Zealand and not really care too much about it. You almost do like like a Top Gear style challenge with them. You've set up a series of challenges and basically just pretty much thrash the car pretty hard. But when Matt, my friend Matt, when he went and picked it up, he called me and he was like, dude, the car's really, really nice. Like the interior is really good and it feels like it's actually been looked after and it runs really good and it almost feels too nice for what we're going to what we're gonna do so we've decided to basically make it way better so I'll explain <laughs> more later what it's just funny she's she doesn't like the car very much she's been in it a few times when we first started dating I was asking about her license because I wanted to know if if I ever had a manual car whether she was legally allowed to drive it whether like whether she had a and she was like, what's a manual? It's like, well, you should manually shift. You know, like it's a manual box. I was like, do you have a manual license? And she goes, I'm pretty sure manuals are illegal in America. <laughs> I was like, maybe they're not illegal. I don't know anything about cars. That's why. Yeah, you're just not a car person. But we're making you a car person. She understands a lot more now, she's pretty good. Yeah. I miss New Zealand roads, our roads are like, some of them aren't the best quality, but the the roads themselves Whitey are very nice. nice. Yeah, they're very nice to drive on. You would think that everything's miles an hour here, but it's not. It's kilometers. Everything's 60 or 50. It's like, like, oh, 60 miles an hour. That's pretty fast. No, we're doing kilometers. And you're like, oh, just kidding. It's like 30 miles an hour. Or no, not even. It's like 20. Wait, no, that, that was so wrong. It's like 40. That was so wrong. I got it backwards. My bad. It's a beautiful day. I 
I love all the flowers that are on the side of the road this year. There's a horsey. Do you hear the turbo? I really hope the camera just picked up that turbo flutter. We go here. Well, she's only been here once before, but we've been here a lot of times in the last couple of times we've been to New Zealand. She's ready to get food. <laughs> Can't really see him. We have family friends that have just had puppies, so like, how many weeks? I think six. Six weeks? <laughs> yeah. And Hannah generally wants to go and get one. I know, but we can hang out with them. We can hang out with them. Oh, yeah, baby. <laughs> Hannah didn't get anything because they ran out of avocados and she normally gets smashed avocado. Oh, my God, my stomach. I don't know if uh, I made the mistake of taking like a whole lot of vitamins and then not eating food for like an hour and then now just eating and now my stomach's um, all messed up. We're gonna go home and we're gonna showcase and debut the project car, finally. So be excited. What I'm about to show you is our attempt one at having a sort of project car that we were gonna do some stuff with, but unfortunately we bought it and running on three cylinders. Do you know what, you? dude? It doesn't look that bad. Did they not tell it you looks kind of cool from the back. All right, this is it. This was attempt one. Unfortunately, this has become a failure. This is Matt, everybody. Howdy. Matt look Stevens. The back of the... Yeah, that's not ideal, it's but... Like a couple of rips, man. But like, in general, it looks pretty good. It was gonna be like a Top Gear style sort of challenge where we had to basically each buy a car for less than a thousand dollars or something like that and try and make them work. So, my other friends, this is his Peugeot, which honestly, dude, this thing looks sick. Like this could be turned into such a cool rally car. So this thing does run at all or not? It runs, I have a Does it run good? Is it also on three cylinders? Uh, no, it was just running with like half an exhaust. You go under here, you might be able to see it on the camera. Yeah. The exhaust is like fully separated. Does it sound loud? It's quite loud, yeah. Why don't we drive it? There's, there's no battery. There's no battery. Like, I'm cranking it hard. There's nothing? <laughs> there's nothing left. We're gonna have to jump it. Yeah. Okay, we can do that later. Yeah. We'll, sh we'll come back to this. Driving? Yeah, man, it's got a mint driving oh, position. Oh, no. Dude, you sit so high. <laughs> what is with that? Look, my head's in the roof. <laughs> There's no way you can lower the seat? Nah, I think the seat's slightly broken. That's why it's got a seat cover on. If I light, well, I'll light down a little bit. Oh, nice gearbox. Yeah, it's got a good shifter linkage, eh? Oh, it is? Oh. No, I'm just joking, it sucks. Yeah, the, the, that's third, so this is third gear, this is not neutral. Yeah, that's yeah. That's not neutral. Yeah, doesn't that's it give you, third. yeah, that's a good indication that's in though. That's fourth? Yeah, it's fourth, yeah, yeah. And that's, oh, that's fifth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you tell? Can you yeah. tell I'm in fifth gear right now? <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's pretty pretty accurate. Is that what came with it? Yeah. It's dead flat, right? Yeah. <sighs> Basically, we bought it, and Matt went and picked it up and realized it was running on three cylinders, and that it was a big emission to fix. You checked one of the cylinders, right? There's no compression. Yeah, once I bought it, which I should have done before I bought it, but yeah, yeah. oops. Okay, we'll, we'll go look at the actual project car, which is 10 out of 10. Yeah, it's like 20 out of 10. It's just the best car in the world. We've been using it for the last couple of days. We towed a jet ski to Tauranga with it, and it's mint. Runs mint, so yeah. Okay, look at it. All right, so we kind of fast forwarded through the day a little bit because we're in a big rush. As I've said in vlogs before, my favorite thing in the entire world to do is ride jet skis. How good are jet skis? How what? How good are jet skis? Oh, brilliant, yeah. 
Everyone should have a jet ski, right? Um, so every year I come home, Action Sports in Auckland, Paul is an absolute legend and he always lends me a jet ski when I'm home. So um, last year I had the Red Bull ski that you guys saw the Instagram stuff I was on was, um, it's a Sea-Doo, it's called a GDR. And it was a 230 GDR, meaning it had 230 horsepower, supercharged. Um, but the best thing about it is the, the hull. So this is this year's one. It's actually not even this year's one. It's next year's one. It's a 2024. And it's a GDR 300. So we've got an extra 70 horsepower. And it's freaking amazing. I've have ridden it the last couple of days. Um, and it honestly is like so much fun. So... This has been uh, the weapon of choice for the last couple of days. And anyway, the reason we're in a rush is because I'm going to take off. These are called Sponsons. These things here. These are basically what grip like the ski in the water. And um, if you take them off, you can basically drift the ski. You can literally like go sideways. It's really, really cool. So, But what makes these skis amazing is this. It's plastic versus the most of the 300s well every other 300 i think is fiberglass hull it's quite heavy and they're really really good they're really fast they corner really well but this all the ski wants to do is jump out of the water and just basically do is the same as i don't think it, no it's not the same hull because it's much bigger oh, I know, but like, same, same material yeah i think it's the same material it's probably what's so light, yeah exactly i think so i don't really know I all i know is it's really really fast and it does big jumps. Like yesterday in the surf, we had the thing like two meters out of the water. So we're gonna go and uh, take those sponsons off and then we're gonna go and test it in the river. And Matt's got his own ski as well, so. One of the best things about being in New Zealand right now in summertime is that it's 7 p.m. right now and it's daylight. It's completely light. So we are, it took a little bit longer to get the, the sponson things off, but they're off, so now we're gonna do some drifting on the jet ski. And we're just gonna go test it out, but we're gonna go riding now. I'm gonna test it and see how it goes. And Matt's gonna ride his jet ski, which is much slower than my jet ski. Well, also cost Sorry, three times less. Do you want to put that in there too? Slower, <laughs> much slower, the point is. I got 300 horsepower. What do you have? Uh, 110, but how much does your ski 110. weigh? 110. How much does your ski weigh? That's all you got? Yeah. 110. What do you think it was? I, I got a plastic hull. Mine's light as. How much does your weigh? Yours weigh? I don't even know. Exactly. It's got 300 horsepower. That's all that matters. <laughs> Supercharged. <laughs> Supercharged, baby. 110 horsepower. I have three of your motors in one of my skis. And what's the fuel economy of your ski? Oh, it drinks fuel. Yep. Drinks fuel. Yep. Costs like $170 to fill up. Yep. <laughs> it's so expensive. But it's fast. And now we've taken off the things that hold it in the water so now it's gonna be oh, sketchy it's gonna be good it's gonna be sketchy but it's gonna be good hopefully it doesn't get dark before we we finish up it should be quick yeah, what's the time now so it's seven, seven now so we're just gonna grab because matt's the most unorganized person ever he doesn't have a swim shorts with him already <laughs> so we're gonna go get so i want to go home <laughs> we've been at both the houses today i think we always knew we were gonna go jet ski i don't I think we talked about it earlier. So oh, maybe. Anyway, we're gonna pick up Matt's clothes and his jet ski, which is much slower than mine, and then we're gonna go to the river. <laughs> so just pulled over because Matt's grabbing his um, his swim shorts so that we can go out. But it is it's literally 7:30. I mean, the sun is behind the house, but like it's 7:30 and we we haven't even got to the river, so. Hopefully it doesn't get dark, but it's it's mad, honestly, coming from... I know it was it's winter time at the moment in Europe and in, in America as well, where we just were, but where it gets dark at like 5 o'clock. The UK was getting dark at 4.30, even. It's nice. Get to, get to be able to do this. Let me, let me just show you something else. We have this hooked up. The jet ski hooked up to this... That thing has been towing around jet skis the last three days and it is faultless. Honestly, it's so good. Okay, it's literally been like 10 minutes we've been sitting here. He's meant, Matt's meant to be grabbing swim shorts and that's it. Like, dude, we're running out of daylight and he's still in there. 
put my hazards on because I'm just sitting in the middle of the road. Where are they in this car? Look at this guy. Look at him. We're going out for like yeah. 20 minutes. Yeah, I'm just busy, you know. Look at this. Sunset's nice, mate. Oh, he's going back inside. Literally, dude. If it gets dark, no, I don't have water. Matt, hurry up, come on. Grab some water, yeah. And maybe some snacks. Okay. Whoa, that's fancy, bro. Like self-retracting mm -hmm. windows. Yeah. Filter water. It's pretty flash, bro. Very flash. You on tank water? Or Thirty you on? bucks from the warehouse. Oh, I don't know. Um, right. Any snacks? Oh, one square meal. I have more. Our house. House. Oh yeah. This is literally all we've eaten today. One square meal. Alright, dinner. Served. This guy. You guys missed it. The reason we lost half an hour is because Matt's trailer lock wouldn't unlock because it rusted. We broke the key trying to unlock it. And in the end, after half an hour, I was like, Matt, just hit it with a hammer. And he's like, no. I don't want to break the lock. And like you think as well, because it's a lock, it wouldn't break. I swear, I wish I was filming it. He hit this thing. One hit, just as I tested, I line it up. One big hit and the whole thing broke and came out. So if somebody was going to steal the jet ski, that's all they had to do. It was the most pointless lock in the world. Well, we're going to go now, so finally. All right. Oh, we just rolled up. And it is glass. Take these off and you want to slide the ski and like drift. You want it to be really, really glassy so that you can just slide across the top of the water. So this is like perfect testing conditions. Look at Matt, look at Matt, look, 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 look. Oh, I doubt I missed it. He messed it up. It's freaking nine o'clock at night right now. And it's, I mean, the sun's kind of gone. So we're gonna be, we're gonna come out tomorrow. We're gonna do it like a couple more minutes and then we'll, we'll head up.